Hey guys, we're uh, just did uh, in the trenches with muscular development again. Um, did a chest workout today. We did one about 21 or 22 weeks out. Um, the first time we filmed chest, we're about three and a half weeks out from USA's, about two and a half weeks out from the LA show right now. Um, about 55 pounds less. So, uh, been really pushing the diet, really coming down. I have no energy. Barely any carbs, but tomorrow's 4th of July. So, I'm looking forward to the energy I'm gonna get from my shitload tomorrow. Some pancakes and uh, waffles, some cereal, Pop Tarts, cake, ice cream, the whole nine. So, always gotta go to IHOP. Uh, spend the 4th with the loved ones, 4th of July. So, we're gonna have a nice barbecue with the family. Um, and then, uh, definitely some cold stuff. So much needed uh, refill, re refeed. It's been about five weeks. The last weekend in May was my last refeed, so I've been pushing pretty hard. Um, the last four or five weeks. So the most I've seen him smile in weeks. Right here, when he's talking about his food, <laughs> right there. Um, last video you saw with uh, Kuklo and I was right after the Cal Pro. Um, about five weeks ago or so, we trained arms. Um, when I was about nine weeks out from USA's at that point. Um, so I've come down a little bit more since then. Chad and I have been really pushing the diet, really pushing the cardio, um, keeping the training intensity up, and um, just really trying to fine tune everything now. Um, weight really hasn't fluctuated the last couple of weeks, but still, still tightening up a lot. Um, still right on track, right on schedule. Um, tomorrow is uh, the 4th of July, so having a nice uh, shitload day and um, be able to eat some high dense carbohydrates, um, some pancakes and pop tarts and you know, the good stuff to, uh, to help fill out. I'm extremely flat right now. Like I said, we've been really pushing the diet, really pushing the cardio, so I'm extremely depleted. Um, haven't had a high carb day or anything crazy for like I said, about four or five weeks. So um, definitely need the refeed day tomorrow. Definitely looking forward to it. Um, especially the last couple of days, it's kind of what uh, pushed me through the last couple of days of uh, this uh, hard part of the diet right now. And um, after tomorrow, we'll push again, one last push before uh, we start tightening everything up for uh, for the shows to come. We got a good game plan going to the LA's, um, followed up by the USA six days later. So um, we've, that game plan's been in place and we're just gonna continue with everything as long as we stay on track, which we are right now. And um, keep moving forward. smarter, lighter weight, drop sets obviously, get the blood in there, about three weeks out now, so don't want to do anything stupid, but I uh, still need to push the muscle, stretch the fascia, and uh, get as much blood in there as possible. Today we train chest, um, like always with the Big Sexy, um, started off with bench press, um, not nearly as strong as I am in the off season. Um, still warmed up with a couple plates, moved up to four plates for about eight or nine reps, um, then 455 for seven reps, and then um, with that 455 we did a drop set um, down to 315 and then down to 225. Really just trying to keep as much blood in the muscle as possible, um, fatigue the muscle, but at the same time you still got to lift heavy. You still got to, um, you don't want to make, you, wanna, you don't want to make that that muscle think that it doesn't need to stay big so that you don't want it to atrophy at all so you got to lift the heavy weight but you got to be smart with it um. Pretty much um, from this point forward, we'll be lifting heavy, but incorporating drop sets and supersets and stuff like that um, throughout the rest of uh, 
the training cycle. Um, I did my last circuit training um, last week. Um, so from here on out, it will be more hypertrophy and um, heavy training to, to really hold on to as much muscle um, as I can going into the show. Um, after, after bench press, we went over, we did a dumbbell, dumbbell bench press. Not something I usually do, um, but I definitely wanted to, to mix it up a little bit today. Um, work on the stabilizer muscles and some of the other smaller muscles um, just to make everything pop out going into the show. Um, utilizing muscles that we don't usually utilize. Um, so we did um, a couple sets with that and the heavy sets with uh, 125 or 130, I, f I forget. I uh, did a couple sets with that as well and then um, moved over to uh, cable crossovers three sets with that again on the last set um, we did we did a drop set with that as well again keep it as much blood and muscle as possible um, at this point we started to speed the workout up a little bit um, the pump started to wear off a little bit so wanted to keep that blood in the muscle and keep pushing it so went straight from the cable crossovers probably about 45 seconds to 60 seconds rest in between each set then right over to dips three sets of dips and um, from the dips um, we did the uh, the overhead movement I don't even know what to call it but uh, the overhead movement which you'll see which we did in the last chest video um, really just isolating that upper part of the chest and um, keeping the blood in there like I said and um, not doing anything stupid it's a, it's a pretty cool movement I use it to supplement the, um, the overhead dumbbell movement um, because it's a lot easier on my shoulder a lot easier on my joints and stuff like that especially right now I don't have as much protection um, as I do in the off season when I'm fat and happy. Finish up with uh, move a little bit faster as we get through the workout. Uh, it's harder to keep the pumps right now. Pretty much no sodium, very low carb. So uh, you get a pump, but it doesn't stick with you that long. So. Um, start speeding that workout up. Uh, just did the cable flies straight to the dips. And we're going to finish up with um, some of our, our overhead to uh, finish up the chest and call it a day. This guy's no shape at all. Probably a little too fat. Just should have been, been a power lifter. I remember things people said. Huh? Yeah. Big Sexy said it first. Three weeks from tomorrow, I'll actually be in my hotel room in Vegas, um, getting ready to uh, get on stage with the big boys at USA's. I um, want to thank John Lindsay for putting on that show and giving me the opportunity, giving us the opportunity to uh, participate against each other and, um, you know, have a have a great competition to see you know where we stack up against the best in the country and um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to representing 619 Muscle World Gym and um, all my boys that have been pushing me throughout this entire prep so um, stay tuned and um, should have another video coming out before USA's and um, we'll keep pushing thanks MD for following me today again we're San Diego World Gym 619 Muscle in the trenches we'll see you next time